Cassie's going to help us demonstrate the hip extension pattern test. This is a, this is a, a matter of seeing how an individual extends their hip. There should, there should be a specific firing pattern that happens, which is the hamstring, gluteal muscle, and the low back extensors. We often see the compensation of the hamstring will fire and the gluteal muscle will, will either be delayed on this firing or absent. And then that, that's where we, we have to look at uh, activating the gluteal muscles a little bit more. We'll get into that with corrective exercise. How we set up for this test is we want to have the feet hanging off into a neutral position on a table, head in neutral and arms along to the side. Giving as little cues as possible, we want to have the individual extend their leg up only two to three inches because we don't want to exceed the natural motion of the hip of 15 degrees and keeping your knees straight. So I'm going to run through this test. Cassie, what I'd like you to do is lift your right leg up for me, just hold on just a second, just keep your knees straight. She already knows what to do here. And lift up two to three inches off the table and come on down. And back down. So first of all, we're going to look at the firing. We want to see the firing pattern. You sometimes can visually see this. I find that using a palpation will give me a better sense, even though that can facilitate the contraction of the muscle. Uh, just be aware of that. So I'll put my hand on her hamstring, lateral hamstring particularly, gluteal muscle. Go ahead and, and, and you're going to feel for toneness and if you feel already they're tightening their uh, bum up then you're going to have them just let everything go and relax. Okay now go ahead and lift. Perfect and back down. Now she has a very good firing pattern. The hamstring fired first but there was no absolutely no delay into the gluteal uh, contraction. Matter of fact it, it contracted immediately after the hamstring and nice strong contraction. I'll place my fingers on her paraspinal muscles and have her lift her leg again. Good, and back down. Now there should be a gluteal contraction, then paraspinal, particularly contralateral, then ipsilateral, or opposite side paraspinal, same side paraspinal. We want to see that just after the gluteal muscles fire. Sometimes you'll see it just at the same time. Uh, that, that's, that's fine too. What you don't want to see is the hamstring and paraspinal fire without the gluteal muscle or at least a delay. Now when I say a delay, it's very, uh, very small. So we're looking at a two to three inch extension about 10 degrees. So if she gets up into a firing pattern about one inch or five degrees and then the gluteal muscle fires, that is considered delayed. So 50% of movement is accomplished before the gluteal muscle fires. That would be a delayed fire pattern, that would be a dysfunctional hip extension firing pattern. Compensations that we're also going to look for. If you have them lift their leg, we're going to look for, go ahead and lift, any pelvic movement, whether it's rotation or hyperextension of the low back. We also can look right up into the shoulders and see if there's any compensatory movements, particularly the upper traps, that are going to help assist lifting that leg or counter pressure of the opposite leg. So go ahead and show us, uh, Cassie, what the compensation would be. Very good. Back down. So seeing the movement, I'll put my hand on her low back and lift, and it's that roll. Okay, we don't want to see any movement here, any tilting, anteriorly tilting of the pelvis, or any rotatory movement of the pelvis. That feeds into whether the abdominals are contracting and stabilizing the pelvis to allow hip motion to happen. Oftentimes, that, that, again, that's a, that's a point of uh, relative stiffness and relative flexibility, where the hip flexors actually are a little bit tighter than the, the, or stiffer than the abdominals. So when she goes through hip extension, the hip flexor group pulls on the pelvis, increasing the anterior tilt. The abdominals are supposed to counteract that motion, so there should be a balance between that. So again, multi things we're looking at here, but the hip, uh, the hip pattern test, again, hamstring, gluteal muscles, paraspinal muscles, with no movement in the torso at all. Just uh, solely movement from the hip.